Hi everyone, Billy Horn here, and I'm going to teach you about visualizing sound. First thing, I have the Smectronic Smexoscope, uh, which is an oscilloscope. It shows you the waveforms. Start by throwing in the kick drum. It's a pitched sine wave. And here's a bass line. You can look at the scope and see that it fits in between the kick drum and it's not starting too early and causing spikes or running too late. Oh, let's let this play. And then here's a frequency analyzer. Have the kick drum. Most of its power is here. The 100 hertz and below. They still have the snap that goes along. There's the bass line, they still have a lot of the power, the 100 and below. There's another frequency oscillator, the M Multi Analyzer. It's on the demo version right now. As you can see, it breaks individual tracks by colors. So, go. So you have a kick drum, the bass, have it tuned for E, so it's peaking up here. Have a clap, hi hats, and synth. As you can see, the open hi hat and the closed hi hat have their frequencies, and the claps peaking around right here. And all this room here for adding synths and effects. Another way to visualize is the sonogram. There's another way of showing you how the different sounds are in the different areas. You have the kick and the bass occupying the same frequencies. So, zoomed in by accident. But as you can tell from the oscilloscope, they were alternating. So that's going at the same. Have your synth here in the mid like I was talking about. And your clap and hi-hats are over here. When you're doing your mix down and EQing, you want to maybe cut some frequencies to make sure they're not overdoing it. Hopefully this helped to further your knowledge about visualizing sound as opposed to just hearing it.